One afternoon, relatively late in the build season, first team members at Bertie County High School took their robot for a spin. There were still a few glitches, but for the most part, the trip around campus went pretty well. Today was one of our best days so far where we really did a lot of progress with the robot, so we're happy with that. This is the second year that Bertie County has fielded a first robotics team. There's a big difference the second time around. Right now, we know what to do. It's just how just to get there. Last year, we just rookies. We just trying to just trying to make a name for ourselves. Everyone said that we could, they, they could tell that we were rookie teams because we had wood on our robot. No wood. No wood this year. Because of the strides they have made, members of the Technical Assassins are anxious to return to the site of the statewide competition in early April. I know the outcome is going to be at least better than last year. And I'm looking forward to just going to Riley, have a good time, and show what Bertie County can do. Whether Bertie County wins or not, the progress made from one year to the next represents part of what the first program is all about. Everybody thinks that robotics is just about a robot, but it's not. It's developing leaders for the future. Many of the lessons being learned by the Bertie County team now, the more veteran flying platypi squad from the triad learned several years ago. Still, each year is different, and each year the robots being built are required to perform different tasks. This year the robot has to score basketballs into a hoop. There's four hoops on each end of the field. With this year's basketball-related challenge, it brings science and math together with technology and engineering to put a ball through a hoop. It's a little difficult trying to figure out how to get the ball to go into the hoop because when you're playing basketball, you don't know what calculations just go through your mind automatically. While some members of the Flying Platypod are building the robot, others are going through the process of programming it to move and to take the required shots. Right now, we actually we have to build and design all the programs for the robot to make it move. And completing that task without a robot to use is very difficult. It's essential that the team is broken into groups to tackle a portion of the job with everything coming together at the end. The build period is six weeks, so there is, we have to manage our time very wisely. We're not behind, which is a good thing compared to last year. Teams from all over North Carolina are competing in the first program. They have all raised money, developed budgets, and rely on the expertise of those in the community to guide them. Some teams, such as the one from Bertie County, don't have as many resources at their disposal. We're a farming community, so we don't have that many engineers to go to for advice on our robot. If we want something, we have to go an hour away to Greenville and get help. In addition to that, Bertie County has suffered from a number of other hardships over the past year. Bertie County has been hit with the floods and the tornadoes so recently that a lot of people are still, even though it's been a little while, we're still recovering from it. All that being the case though, the technical assassins do not allow it to limit their expectations or use it as an excuse. Instead, the team embraces who they are and where they are from. We get the honor of bringing engineering and technology to our community, to our small little farming community. And it kind of shows kids that, you know, they can do stuff like that robot we just made. The greater community is watching and is interested in what the first team can accomplish. Even though we live around like fields of crops and stuff, there's another world out there that we can take over ourselves. Back with the flying platypi, there has been some success in the past, and the hope is to do as well or better this year. This is not set up to be all about the competition, but whenever there are winners crowned, the competitive fires will burn. It's just like a regular competition, like football and all that. And just, and we, we go at it with 100, uh, 150%. The first robotics competition is a group endeavor, stressing teamwork and collaboration. The benefits, many times though, are realized on an individual level. I've always been interested in, you know, building something, taking it apart, or figure out how it works. So I actually get to build something that's going to, you know, be able to function. It's, you know, it's great. For everyone involved, one idea is to be able to put those lessons that are being taught in the classroom to practical use. I take classes at uh, Davidson County Community College, and um, actually some of my programming classes go over the same stuff we're doing in here. 
rather than just sitting in a classroom and you know textbook stuff, this gives you a hands-on experience of doing. You know, you get you, to take the metal, you get to mark it, you get to build it, and then you actually get to see what you created at, at the end of the season. Some are gaining experience that will help them in their careers. Some are doing work that will result in them earning a scholarship. All that is still ahead, though. In the moment, it's all about everybody taking responsibility for their part in the project. It will take a solid effort from all the groups, electrical, mechanical, programming, and marketing, to be successful. When it all comes together, it's just, it's amazing that it all comes together within the time period.